I'm going to show you how to set up and use an inflatable paddle board. So it comes with a pump, a paddle, a fin for underneath, a container that's got some patches, the line for the pump, the strap for your ankle, and the board itself. First thing you're going to do is unroll the board. There are two sides to the pump, one that's inflate and one that's deflate. Make sure that you attach it to the inflate to fill it up. Twist off the plug and make sure that this is in the up position. Now pump it up until it reaches 15 pounds per square inch. 50, 100, 150. It gets a lot harder to pump once it's starting to get full. It's at five pounds per square inch. It's really hard to pump once it's full. Oh, I know, I know. Whew. It's not easy. I forgot to keep counting too. 10 PSI. Twelve. Okay, it says ten to fifteen. Okay. So you could probably do it just to thirteen if you We're at thirteen, I think it's gonna be good. Now twist off the air hose and screw on the cap. Attach the ankle strap to the loop. Now we're gonna attach the large fin, flip the board over and slide it in. This little clip will keep it in place. The paddle comes with three parts. You're going to click the little button and slide it until it lines up. And this end is adjustable depending on your height. Flip this to open it, determine your height, then click it to hold it. Now it's time to head down to the water. You can grab on to that handle whenever you're carrying it. Now you're gonna hop in the water to get the board in. your paddle. You want to make sure that you're deep enough so that the fins don't hit the sand. Strap on the ankle strap. So you're going to start by paddling on your knees uh, until you get out deeper and then when it's time uh, to get ready to stand make sure that you're standing in the same spot where the handle is. That's usually going to be the center of the board. When you stand you're going to put your hands uh, over the paddle and then put one foot uh, at a time where your knees were placed. A couple of other things to keep in mind as you're paddling is try to keep your paddle as close to the board as you can and reach far out to make sure that you're getting the most of each paddle. I've also heard you can do yoga on these so I'm gonna give a headstand a try. Three or four seconds, maybe, and your legs are like this. <laughs> Whoa! You okay? To get back up on the board, get your paddle up, and then you're gonna want to try to get your legs out, and then grab onto the handle to slide back on. If you go under the board with your legs, it won't work. So kick your legs out as far out as you can. And then slide back on the board. <laughs> Ouch, I hit my back on the end. Oh. As you're approaching shore, you can go back down on your knees and paddle into the shore. Then just take one foot off of the board and put it into the sand to land yourself. Then take it out of the water. And when you're done, dry it off before you deflate the air out of it. Take off the fin. Flip the 
board back over and to deflate it, unscrew the cap and push the pin in. Start on the top end and roll towards the fins. And when you get down to the end, pop that back up and put on the cap. When you've got it rolled up, put it back in the backpack. Attach the strap. Tighten it up. And add everything else. There we go. Make sure to subscribe and watch more Minnesota cold and how-to videos of ours.